Hello everyone, it's a beautiful day today. What's been on your mind recently? I've been thinking more and more about trying new things in life. Brene Brown says all of our mistakes serve a purpose, not shame. What have you learned from your mistakes recently? Since the weather is beautiful, I'd like to share six outfits and six handbags I've been enjoying. The first outfit is a white smock top from H&M. I think the sleeves are very feminine. They were even puffier when I got the top, but I cut off the mesh on the shoulders so they wouldn't be so dramatic. The jeans are from Citizens of Humanity and they're light colored with rips at the knee. And the shoes are old Abercrombie flip-flops I've had for years. The bag is the Louis Vuitton favorite bag in the MM size. This is the old style and it's very hard to get. I purchased this one pre-loved. I was deciding between this bag and the Felici Nazir, but this one went out because it had extra room and I like its casual slouchiness. I think this outfit and bag is perfect for a cooler summer day. The second outfit looks similar to the first one in that it also features a white top and the same jeans, but the top is off the shoulder and it's more elegant because of the drapey material. I paired this outfit with dainty nude heels. I like the look of these shoes so much and the bows add even more femininity to them, but I can't actually wear heels for a long time. These shoes were purchased in Asia two years ago, but I'm sure you can find similar styles. The cute little pink bag is the ever popular pink iridescent bag from 2019. I purchased several pink Chanel bags over the years and finally this one is staying in my collection. The color of this bag is really hard to capture. In some pictures it looks darker and in video it looks lighter. It has light gold hardware. But what I think would make this bag absolutely perfect is if it had a magnetic closure like all the new walks do and maybe a removable strap. Regardless, I'm glad it's in my collection. The third outfit also has a white top with princess sleeves and a square neckline. It's also from H&M and the skirt is a gray um, skirt from Arisia. It's, it's made from a suede-like material but it's not actually suede. The exposed zipper is meant to be worn in the front but I like to wear in the back. And I paired it with black sandals and the Louis Vuitton Felici in the black epi leather. I like the simple understated design of this small bag. I also like that the silver chain is removable. For the fourth outfit, the look is very monotone. I have a gray shirt with ruffled shoulders tucked into gray citizen jeans. These are the rocket crop jeans which I recommend for petite women because most likely you won't have to hem them. I'm also wearing my comfortable Michael Kors Fulton flats which I'm sad to say are now discontinued. I've been wearing these shoes for years. I'm also using my Chanel walk in black as a clutch and this walk has silver hardware and if you've been watching me for a while you might think that this is the same one I had years ago but it's actually a different one. I was so sold on the new magnetic closure that I rebought this one with the magnetic closure instead of the button and because when you're in a rush and you want to just close your bag and go the magnet makes it easier for you to just let the flap drop. It might not meet the magnet right away but it feels more secure to me than just the button. The fifth outfit is even more casual. The top and bottom are both looser than any of the other outfits. I have a beige linen top from H&M. It's cute but it wrinkles really easily and it runs large. So I would suggest sizing down. The shorts are from Zara and has rips and fraying and the leg holes are pretty big as well. The bag is a pre-loved Fendi bag that I got at a great deal. I like that it's also slouchy but small. You can fit a lot in it and it has that early 2000s squishy leather feel. I swapped out the long chain strap it came with for a shorter one. I really like handbags that allow me to take off the straps because you have way more options that way. The only thing I don't like about this bag is that it actually has a very strong magnetic closure. So strong that I have to tug at it to open it. Luckily the leather seems very durable. The sixth and final outfit is a light pink dress from Aritzia. I have on a gold Tiffany Hart necklace and my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in Damier Ben with the rose ballerine interior. If you remember a long time ago, I mentioned that I wasn't interested in this bag with the pink interior and as you can see, I changed my mind. I was so used to seeing the red that it took me a while to get used to this one. I was also afraid of having a pink interior bag, but sometimes you just gotta get what the heart wants. That's it for now. I hope you have a perfect day in your own way. Talk to you next time.